So um, being a monk or nun means you have a lot of vows, but the vows are not related to schedule. Um, but you might have on top of monastic vows, you might have bodhisattva vows and tantric vows, which imply a certain daily practice routine. Um, but those are vows that lay people can have. They can have bodhisattva vows and tantric vows as well, which imply a certain practice. So at a Dharma center, monks and nuns would gather together and do morning prayers together, usually, traditionally. Um, that's really only the case for bigger Dharma centers. The smaller Dharma centers, monks and nuns do their practice in the morning by themselves. And so they set up their own home altar and they do their own home prayers. And um, that's kind of the first thing you do in the morning is get yourself pieced together, you know, brush your teeth, whatever, and then sit down and do some practice. And um, the length of time is going to vary based on your own developing meditation practice and the advice of your teachers and it's something that builds over time. So, you know, what my practice looked like 18 years ago is not the same as what it looks like now. But if I'm in a community situation where there's a lot of monks and nuns, we do the same prayers together as a unit and then might break off and then continue our own personal practice after that when we get back home to our individual rooms. Um, so it's a pretty universal thing that monks and nuns do practice in the morning before starting the activities of the day. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we you know, recommend for lay Buddhists as well to like prepare yourself well for the day. And, you know, it's, it's something that you really feel if you don't do it, yeah, you know, it can feel like, I don't know, a routine or even some days like a chore. But then when you don't do it, you're not held in the same way. And your mind is not necessarily as easily linked to a positive motivation. So the habit is really important as well. So then throughout the day, different monks and nuns have different jobs. You know, some of us work in admin and some of us work in the gompa to make it beautiful. And some of us help corral volunteers. Some of us are teachers. Um, Lots of monks and nuns nowadays also do counseling, maybe in prisons or in hospice situations with people who are dying. Um, some do youth groups and stuff like that. So there's a service aspect, but it's quite common for a monk or a nun to also spend a certain amount of the year in retreat or a few years of their life in retreat is quite normal. And in those years, not offering... Um, external service, you're doing internal service to make you um, more beneficial to the community when you come out. And then at the end of the day, after your kind of busy activities, we usually come together and do what are called protector practices to help kind of stabilize the place, to unify the community, to create harmony, um, and maybe add a purification practice to kind of clear any of the mistakes of the day so we're not carrying them with us all the time and we can change our negative habits. And again, if it's not a big center, then we just do that alone at home in our own room. So like that. <laughs>